This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Now the new test render finished with the latest settings. So let's take a look. And I think you'll see that the particles left behind the fairy are actually looking pretty cool. But now either gravity is a little too low or the speed of those particles that is coming out at the collision is a little too fast. So I like the life of the particles behind, a little bit of spin, a little bit of fade, I think works pretty well. But that part is just going a little too quick. So let's come out here, we're gonna increase the gravity strength back to about 0.4, find our happy medium there. And then we'll go to the particles that are getting popped out of there, go back to our super spray. The speed was just barely over 10. So now with the speed at a full foot, that's a little too much. So again, let's try in between there and go to about 11. So now as we scrub through here, views like this definitely are a bit of a challenge to actually tell what's going on as far as the speed of stuff goes. But I can definitely tell that the particles are not flying as high before they're pulled back down. So we're going to try another test render and see what it looks like. So back to tools, views, grab viewport, create animated sequence. This should all be good right where it is. And we'll make sure this is set to camera and hit create. I think the timing of that actually looks a whole lot better. Now, the fairy sparkles still the same as the crayons hit together. The movement of those sparks actually look a lot nicer than they did before. So the amount of gravity and the speed of the particles actually works quite well now. What still seems a little off is really just the size of those particles. So right now the particle size is really just too big. So if we're gonna drop that down, we'll drop it down to about three inches and we can decrease the variation a little bit more or let's drop this down to even like 2.5 and that 30% variation should work pretty nicely. Now we're not gonna get big giant particles anymore. And then we'll actually go back up here and we'll increase the number of particles by now using the total so we'll set this up to, let's say 1500 particles. So now if we take a look at the point of impact, we should get more particles coming out and we have a little bit more control over that. So I think that's gonna work pretty nicely. All right, so from here on, we're gonna take a look at the final output settings.